In 2021, the Storm Track weather team issued nine weather alert days for severe storms. One of those was on October 24th when an EF2 tornado ended up touching down in Lynn County. The storm damaged several structures, nearly flattening one mobile home. Data from the U.S. Census shows that more than 22 million Americans live in a manufactured or mobile home, but like the storm in Purden proved, they're not the safest places to seek shelter during severe weather. Storm Track meteorologist Kevin Schneider looked into that. We tell you all the time during severe weather to shelter in the lowest interior room with as many walls between you and the outside as possible. We also tell you to get out of mobile or manufactured homes if possible. Why is that? Um, as you get lower in that, in that EF scale, um, you start, start seeing more damage to trailer homes and mobile homes and modular homes than you do to the stick built um, homes. 47% of fatalities occur in mobile homes while they only make up about 5% of all homes. Here in Missouri, we average about 45 tornadoes per year. So what are mobile home sellers doing to ensure Missourian safety? I talked to the owner of Omega Homes about that. Uh, parameters and uh, uh, categories for win, and mm -hmm. it's called the win zone. And so uh, w these things, again, have to be built to sustain the winds that are typical in a particular area. Again, that goes back to each home has a manufacturer's uh, manual, okay? And it says how it's to be set up, and it says how it's to be anchored. And so the anchoring systems, which have to be, again, approved by the state because of our licensing, that we've anchored something according to the manufacturer's specifications. I did some digging into the anchoring systems themselves and what those straps are rated to withstand, and it looks like it's closer to about 110 mile per hour winds if they're anchored properly. Now, that would cover EF1 damage. Unfortunately, in mid-Missouri, that only accounts for two out of every three tornadoes that have been documented. Now, this isn't a knock on mobile homes by any means. They're a great affordable way of living, but we just want you to know what to do when you find yourself in a severe weather scenario in places like that. They should definitely have a plan of action uh, in terms of what to do if severe weather does impact their area. You know, they provide shelter from, from the hail, the rain, um, the lightning, those types of events that, that we experience in severe weather. Um, but when it comes to tornadoes, they are not safe to be in, and people need to have a plan to get somewhere where it's either stirred, more sturdy building or get underground like in a basement. And Kevin, we were lucky enough to be a part of some nationwide research groups to help with this problem. Yeah, that study was looking at a, a different way to issue tornado warnings, but one of the benefits was added lead time, where we could possibly be talking about up to 60 minutes of heads up, which would be pivotal for folks in mobile homes.